Hi everyone, today we're looking at Tech Tool Store, which is made by the same people who do UVK or Ultraviolet Killer. Um, it's basically a program that contains over 500 free technician tools. Uh, these are third party tools, all combined into one package, uh, so you can easily access them uh, whenever you want. Here's a quick shout out to our sponsors who are ALM Wholesale, they're basically the laptop suppliers to repair and retail stores worldwide. So we're looking at Tech Tool Store today which is basically 500 free technician apps all within one program so you don't have to carry USB memory sticks around with you lots of CDs and all these different things you can keep them all in one program so you can access these tools at any point you want it will keep them up to date so you don't have to go searching for the tool finding the latest updated version for it when you probably only use it once a month or a year and so forth but all your tools will be safe in this tech tool store so uh, let's have a look tech tool store so have a look for more information drop down mm, strangely there isn't a more info on there you've got download online help buy a license and trial where's more info the main bar doesn't isn't clickable uh, as you can see on the main page it's got read more here let's have a look there we go, it tells you a bit more about it, so you've got um, install, uninstall, technical requirements, it says Windows XP and above, uh, disclaimers and um, getting started, and you've got a couple of screenshots and so forth on there. So, a little bit strange, you can't access that from the Tech Tool, tool Store menu at the top, but if you go to their homepage, it is accessible where it says Tech Tool Store, so where it says Read More. I'm guessing more information gives you that as well, more info. No, that gives you a completely different page. It looks like it tells you mainly what's in the latest build and about help and technical support. Maybe they need to sort the menu system out on the website a little bit because it it's a little bit disjointed and unorganised. But uh, otherwise, it's there. If you wish to purchase it, just click on Buy Now. Uh, you can see the prices are here, so a one year license purchase is 30 US dollars, which I think is about 25 U uh, UK pounds. Two years is 38 dollars, five years is 60 dollars. Uh, a lifetime license, which apparently lasts 100 years, um, is 80 US dollars, which that's obviously the best value one uh, if you obviously live for 100 years and they still support the product in 100 years time. Uh, so all you have to do once you've purchased, you'll get an email with your license, uh, you download the program and then you go into the settings and put your license key in so let me show you how all that works okay so i've downloaded the program uh, i've saved it into a folder uh, as well as the license key uh, so let's open the exe file so techtoolstore.exe uh, let me show you undo this yes and then it comes up and updates it it's asking do we want to call this um, pc anything basically so uh, it knows for the reporting system and so on uh, and there you can see you've obviously the motherboard what we're using in this machine so i'm just going to press cancel on there because i don't want to keep the details so okay so here's the tech tool store you can see here a list of all the different things it does and they're not joking it does do, I'm guessing there's more than 500 on here, but it does look like there's over over 500 tools there. Um, there's no chance I'll ever try all those ones out, I don't think, but uh, there is definitely a big list. Uh, but first of all, i um, show you how to activate it once you've downloaded your license key. You go into settings, and at the top you see where it says license. You click on that, you have a type your code in if you've got a code, or if you've got a file like I got. Um, you just basically click browse, tell it the location of your file and pray, press activate uh, by file and um, it activates it. As you can see here we've got a 100 year license so that should do me till 21, uh, sorry, 2118. So uh, that's uh, getting a bit futuristic but otherwise in the options or settings we've got the options You've got a few different things on there. You got um, you can hide the Tech Tool Store folder. That's where it's going to uh, save all the files from the programs. So if you were to download um, one of the third-party apps, let's just say like uh, 
uh, for whatever reason you want to download the McAfee one, what can, uh, can see there, or a vast, um, it would hide those in the folder, which is in the same folder as your exe file. Uh, you've got updates on here, so you can check for updates, database updates, licenses which we've already looked at, reports, so you can um, set it up for saving a report and so forth. You've got branding, so you can change your branding. So if you wanted to put your own logo on there, you just press change icon or picture. Um, you can rename it. So instead of calling it Tech Tool Store, we can call it um, whatever you really want. Um, application name, again, and application description, again, what you want to describe it. So let's just say you're at a customer's uh, house or on site. Um, you could basically rename this to fit your needs so they wouldn't know exactly what program you're using and it looks more personalized to your business also on there you've got backup so you can back up all your settings so export and everything's there and then you've got restore which obviously restores the backup so let's close that let's have a look at the options down there you've got update selected run selected update and run selected hide from the list, restore, add more tools, and uninstall selected. So let's just say we wanted to install something basic on here. So, I don't know, let's just say Flash Player for Firefox. Let's put that on. Let's also install uh, Adware Cleaner. Oh, nice tool tip there. Uh, spyware blaster and let's just say unchecky um, you've also got more options if you right click depending on what they are you can move them up and down your list and you can even go to the tools location on your computer if you want to access the folder for whatever reason but you could either if you press run selected now you'll say yes I do it'll start up and nothing will happen because you haven't updated it or pressed update and run so you basically got to download it first so you click update selected yes I do that will then download the program or any updates what are available for the program if you've already got it and that's one good thing is you don't have to go search and try and find the right website everything is there in one tool so you don't have to mess about with it um, you're not going to download any um, dodgy software or anything like that because some of these websites um, can be a bit funny especially when you're trying to find some of these programs it'll say click here to download click here to download and you follow it all the way through and then it asks you for a username and password and so on you don't have to worry about any of that this program does all that for you so you don't have to uh, mess around now when you press run selected what happens is it asks you are you sure you want to do this blah 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 you've got an option for automate and you just press yes I do and you can see the progress uh, flying through there it's currently uh, running malware bytes unfortunately it's popping up uh, do you want to leave feedback and all this that and the other so this one must be the bit what's not automated 100% and you press scan now and that will go through I'm going to press cancel, so I want it to go all the way through. Uh, then it installs the next program, Spyware Blaster, and press next. Automatic updating, blah, 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 blah. So that goes all the way through, and if you wanted to, well, obviously... Uh, blast the uh, spyware you can do, and then it'll do uncheck it and so forth. As you can see some things are automated and other things are not so obviously that's up to you um, which options you use but do keep an eye on it because it won't do everything automatically but once you've uh, run them all well hey hopefully you fixed your problem and you're all sorted you can then uninstall the selected so you just press uninstall are you sure you want to uninstall them and then it goes through on and on and installs them all for you which again makes things easy You've also got the option of obviously update and run the selected, so it'll do all the updates and then do the uh, the checks or the fixes. You've got hide selected from the menu, so let's just have an option you didn't want to remove fake antivirus on the list of programs because you didn't use it or you found it caused issues or whatever. You just press hide selected from the list. Are you sure you want to take it off the list? You then have an option for restoring hidden tools. You can see what's been uh, hidden. 
tick the ones you want to put back, select uh, and then restore, and it puts them back on the menu. Pretty straightforward. You can add tools, so if you've got anything in what is not listed on here, you can actually name the tool, find the website it's list, uh, listed at, the file location, the second download point, and so forth, and that would save the tool into your um, actual settings, so you could actually then load that or run that tool whenever you wanted. You can also choose to save these programs as your favourite, so let's just say you wanted to, or you used a certain program or app all day, every day, and you wanted to save it on the, um, at the top of the list, so you're uh, going to use it, so let's just say, I don't know, let's say CCleaner Portable, so we can just right click on it, and it says add favourite, uh, or add to favourite tools, so if you scroll to the top of the list, you'll see it at the top of the list there, so uh, you can easily get to it and uh, uh, use it whenever you want. Um, so that's basically the, the program itself, so it doesn't, the tools aren't there, they're the third party tools uh, mostly, so they're all from obviously the different places like Malawarebytes and Vast and Kaspersky and all the other different places out there, um, so none of these are actual ones owned by the tech tool store or the guys that do UVK unless it's actually says UVK or whatever on there. Um, so these are third party apps. Most third party apps, bear in mind, will say that you're not allowed to use them uh, as uh, for commercial or for businesses or anything like that where you're going to basically make money off of it. So just bear that in mind when you are using these tools or some of these tools you could be breaking some of their terms and conditions of the individual third party apps. Um, I don't know if um, the, the guys at Tech Tool Store have actually some sort of agreement with these guys or not, but in basics um, the, the actual program works and does everything it should, the tools inside do everything it should, yeah you can get all these tools online and find them yourself and so forth, the whole idea of this is basically to keep them all in one place, keep them updated, and you're basically paying for the privilege to have them all in one place, so a nice and organized and um, set up so you can get to them easily, uh, run multiple uh, ones at once, and so forth. So it's you're paying for the privilege, not the third party apps what are included. But as I said, bear in mind some of these apps may have terms and conditions what say you're not allowed to use it for commercial uh, or business or uh, anything where you're going to basically uh, make any money or profit out of it and you, the, they advise you buy the pro versions or whatever but that may be the case for some tools and not others but otherwise it's a very good tool it saves time of messing about looking for what you need. You can make sure it's up to date and you can carry the folder around on a memory stick, external hard drive, CD, DVD if you really want to, um, and so forth. So it is very easy um, to transport, use, uh, and it could potentially save you lots and lots of time. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this, please go to our website at www.textfortext.co.uk. Uh, we have uh, a larger review of the product there. Uh, but if you did like this video, please make sure you give us a good thumbs up and don't forget to uh, subscribe to the video. Thanks again and bye.